How much longer to pay TT? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. Your Highness. Lara. Where, where's the box? Amaru has it. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. Stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I can't believe how much Etsley has grown in such a short time. He's going to make a great king. Yes, but he's lost both his parents. So did you. I think he's handling it a little better. That's just how it looks from the outside. So much responsibility on your shoulders. I can't imagine. It's not just about Trinity anymore. No. Now it's for Paititi.
Lara, it's good to see you again. <laughs> you too, Uchu. How are the preparations going for Etsli's coronation? Not well, sadly. Shortly after you left Paititi, a group of hunters pulled Zan's body from the wilderness. Zan? Was he one of the men you sent out? To retrieve the champion's bow, yes. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But, would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahua. The Nahual? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Etsli is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay. Point the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry. I'll do my best to get the bow. This must be the jungle entrance. Not very inviting, but I suspect that's the point. You go first. First? I'm not going in there at all. Did you see the guy they pulled out of there? What was left of him? Come on, just to the top of the path. If my father knew I was there. like something's out there. Strange. This kill hasn't been eaten. It's been left out for any animal to take, but none have dared. This looks like a sacrificial altar.
If it's anywhere, I'll bet the champion's bow is in there. Let's get this bow back to Uchu. Champion's bow. 
The final piece to herald in the future of Paititi. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Noal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Paititi. But since Amaru took power, the Nahual has been more active. You believe Amaru commands the Nahual? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etzli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. The sound of the king's horn has called you all to bear witness to a new beginning. Welcome to the ceremony of kings. Etzli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the Savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it, so that you will enjoy in equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the Champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it, so that you will enjoy in responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, within you, young Etzli, is the future. Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. Create love. Not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of Paititi, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etzli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, and your king!
This is the Aztec god Ipa Totec, who presided over the cycle of life, death and rebirth in all its forms, including agriculture, vegetation in general, revolutionary conflict and skin diseases. He tore his own skin off to feed his people and is usually depicted wearing a suit of human flesh. This self-flaying may account for how often he's shown wearing stripes of different colors, predominantly yellow but also tones of red and tan. After wearing the flesh of their captives for 20 days, devotees of Ipatotec would hold on to the skins for their medicinal properties. This polished piece of silver is lined with gold and inlaid with turquoise gems. It appears to be a decorative mirror of sorts. An ornate filigree depicting Eshel is carved onto its backside. <laughs> Oh. 
Mm, too young to be amber. It may be copal. It smells wonderful. Come see what I have to trade. How can I How help you, you, Lara? Everything is for sale. Except Remax drum. Come find me if you need anything else. This describes something nearby. I lie silent where arrows once flew, guarding a door which will no longer open. Follow the Napo to the Amazon. Nothing but jungle for weeks. Phillips got the fever and I had to drag the bastard through this forsaken jungle for the last few days. He kept me awake every night, screaming something about being covered in snakes. Just when we were about to succumb to exhaustion, we arrived at a small settlement built at the foot of an ancient temple. The locals fed us and nursed Phillips until his fever broke. After asking around, I found out there's another temple close by, twin to the first. Once Phillips regains his strength, we'll explore these temples. This journey will not have been for naught after all. Should be helpful.
Inti is the Incan sun god, created by the great god Viracocha. Incan rulers consider themselves direct descendants of Inti, as he is the patron of empire and military conquest. Thank <laughs> you. 